wore gloves. I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't. watching as always. I'm on my way to check some bobcat traps that we set yesterday. They are um, it's just standard cage style live traps. It's the only legal way to trap bobcats in the state of Colorado and now that they're up I've checked them every 24 hours and see if we got anything. We won't trap uh, very many. I think our best year trapping we trapped maybe four and we had double the traps out that we have out right now. So. I'm uh, not anticipating much, but it's just kind of something to do. There's not a lot of snow for bobcat hunting, and we like to sell hides every year. Uh, it's just kind of a nice side income and something we enjoy doing. So let's go check them and see what we got. I also videoed all of the setting of the traps, so I'll share that with you and just tell you a little more about them. Let's go. Stop it. It's froze. Oh, that looks like way too much. I don't think so. Just a dollar. I'll make sure you get all the way in the back. open. open on number two so we set these traps so that we can check them from the road about eight nine years ago we had we were walking in to check traps which leaves tracks in the snow every single day and someone followed our tracks on one of them and stole the trap so we make it so that the only way we have to walk in is if the door is shut sometimes the wind shuts it you know who knows maybe a squirrel bumps it the bait I don't know if the bait's specific to bobcats, but the set we do is specific to bobcats. It's very like a cave, like a nice dark place for them that they would like to go alongside a log, next to some rocks. We haven't ever trapped anything but bobcats. We had a friend trap a fox a while back. That was pretty cool. Uh, he did let it go. It was pretty small. It was <laughs> like that year's pup small, so he did let it go. but. Unfortunately, people will steal traps, so we have to make it so we only walk in if the door's shut. And even then, that doesn't always mean there's a bobcat in it. So the way we set these traps is, like I said, it's kind of an environment a bobcat would want to go to. And then we leave some bait. We cover it up real nice, um, not only so that people can't see them because people will steal them, whether it be a PETA person or um, someone who wants to use it. 
and we just don't want attention to them also because if there's a bobcat in one that we haven't checked yet that day that would be not fun if you know little Susie found it looking for a Christmas tree so we're pretty specific about where we put them and private about where we put them It's up. I just needed the binoculars. I thought I could see that one without binoculars, but I couldn't. So <laughs> three are up. It's not surprising. The our scent, as much as we like try to wear gloves and not leave a lot of our scent, it's gonna be on the traps for I don't know, probably a week. Um we do bait it. Years back, I think we were putting too much bait. We talked to a friend of ours who's a lot better at this than us. Uh, the guy we actually sell our hides to, he's like our middleman, so we don't have to deal with auctions and stuff. And he, you know, kind of reminded us, hey, bobcats, like, think about a house cat or your dog. They all have a way better sense of smell than you. So when you're putting enough bait that it's, like, you can't go near the trap, it's burning a bobcat's nose. They're not going to go near the trap. So we do a lot less bait. We used to, like, oh, get rid of our scent with the bait, um... And we learned that that's not the case. Like I said, we still only, with nine traps, used to be ten, nine traps, we would catch, I think our really good year, we caught like four in a matter of, what is it, three months. So we're not expecting a lot to happen. If we get one or two, we'll be super pleased. We only set half the traps just because we're in a camper right now. And it's going to be a big enough of a pain to skin a bobcat and flush it and get it ready. Uh, in a camper with little amount of space. <laughs> it's going to be hard enough without overdoing it and accidentally trapping like a ton of cats. So I might even keep the hides this year and make things out of them and tan them myself and make things out of them. I've wanted to do that for a long time and I think this is a good time to try it since I am full-time housewife YouTuber. <laughs> I have the time so... I might try that too. So look out for, or I'll do a video no matter what way I process the hide when that happens. Number four is open. I also kind of forgot. Oh, we only set four of the five because there was a great big Christmas tree cutting sign where we were going to put number five. So this is the last one. They're all open. Totally fine. I expected it at the end of the day. And yeah, that's it for checking traps today. I'll keep doing this until hopefully we get something or season ends and we'll pull the traps. We will pull the doors if we end up going out of town. I don't think we have any plans in the next few months, but yeah, that's just a little bit more. I hope I covered everything about the bobcat traps. They're, they're a lot of fun, but they're also a lot of work. So I'm going to let the dogs run around up here and we're just going to chill out. It's kind of nice out today. Levi's on night shifts, so it's part of the reason I like uh, checking the traps because I can't be around when he's sleeping. I'll wake him up. So we'll let the dogs run around and just enjoy the nice day. What'd you get into?
thank you so much for watching as always I'm so tired today so thank you for bearing with me on today's video rode the dogs a little bit and we'll head back to camp to wake up night shift bird I don't know if we can see Bolt can you see Bolt? he's such a keeper they love running by the truck don't freak out uh yeah hopefully we'll have some bobcat processing videos coming and hopefully I don't get attacked by PETA. So I appreciate everyone's support that's for it. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask because I'm all for answering them and helping people understand everything we do. So thanks for the 17th time. Until next time.